it's going now. It's going to go to YouTube. Hello, 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 everyone. It's going now. It's going to go to YouTube. Hi, David. Hi, welcome, welcome. Welcome to, to this edition of Eve McLilly's um, Hello, 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 hello. Hello, hello how do you do? It's going now. Hi, David. Hi, welcome, hello. welcome. Welcome to, to this edition of Eve McLilly's um, Hello. Yeah, David, I'm with you. Okay. That's what happened when I tried to broadcast through YouTube. We get this looping Echo. and Echo. I never know what caused it. Um we're still we're still in YouTube though. Um let me see if I could get this as a private broadcast instead uh, all right so we can we can amend the video let's just go on the good thing is um it's a small audience there so we can take on the video and amend it and and continue so um good evening david Thank you for joining us um, here on T, T Talk. Okay. My name is Evadme, for those of you who don't know me, and I'm the CEO of Eve MacLilly Wellness and Eve MacLilly Teas. Uh, tonight, um, or this evening, we have a very special guest with us. His name is David, and um, he's going to be discussing with us about his art. He will be one of our special Hello. guests. Uh, at the upcoming uh, Royal Tea Party, which is going to be held on Sunday, June 27th, and it is a virtual event. Uh, we will post um, information about the party so that those people who are watching this video who doesn't know anything about the party can get some information on where they should register. So um, without any further ado, David, I am so impressed by your work and um and you're so passionate um can you tell me a little bit about your early years you told me you've been painting for Boy, next year it's going to be 50 years 50 years yeah. tell me a little bit about your upbringing uh why you liked art i was born in the commonwealth of dominica i grew up in the second town port of portsmouth attended elementary school there. Eh? And my art career started since, by, since I was in elementary school, but I started painting in 1972. Um, my style I call anthropomorphic alternative reality, but it's better known as double imagery or visual fun. Now, I've, uh, I can, you can, that style can be traced as far back as the 14th century. And even Leonardo da Vinci suggested it. Uh -huh. um, in 1980, I was reading something that I, he, he suggested. The artist who wishes to enhance his faculty for creative invention can look at even a stain on the wall. And in there, you, one will see whatever one wants to see. Okay. Uh, but the, the, the whole idea, yeah. the whole, uh, my, my attraction to, to double image to visual punch started with my mother, when my mother was teaching my late brother and me to read. And she asked us to identify the map of Italy. Uh -huh. And not having read the passage that was assigned to us, we looked at each other and she said, okay, I'll give you a hint. She says, Italy is kicking Sicily. And that was a light bulb moment. I looked at the map and I could see the, the map of Italy looking like a boot. So I said, Ma, Dominica looks like a penguin. Yeah, and Guadeloupe looks like a butterfly. 
And that's where it started. From that point, whenever I would look at an object, I would look for an alternative reality within it. Wow, that's, that's amazing. That's, a, uh, that's quite a story. <laughs> then, um, as a child, I was always uh, fascinated with the Mighty Sparrow, Mighty Sparrow's double altar. Mm -hmm. Now, if anybody, uh, most Caribbean people know what Sparrow was singing about, but it was so subtle. He would sing one line and it had multiple meanings, and that just enhanced my interest in <laughs> a, a double double meaning. That's interesting. Audio, audio um, puns uh, and visual puns. Just like, when I came to the United States, I discovered the paintings of Salvador Dali. In fact, there's a museum of Dali's work in um, Saint Petersburg, Florida. Even and I have been there five times, driving from West Palm Beach, where her mother lived to um, St. Petersburg. Uh. Well, that was the point when I really decided that was the style because I had I bought several books on Dali and I that was the aspect of, of Dali's work that I really loved, but he did not he did not push it as far as I felt he, he should have gone. In fact, if you, if you do research on Dali, you'll find maybe about 10 paintings in that style that he did. So I decided I was going to pick that uh, that part of Dali's work and push and paint, focus on on double imagery because I I knew that it, I had that history. I had this history of always being fond of double meaning in 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 even in in literature or in imagery. So I right. just from 1980. So just, uh, to, just to clarify, so you were saying, I, and I'm doing this because we just started recording, mm. you're saying the style of double meaning in, in, in your art mm -hmm. is not something new. No, it's not something new. You just gave it a new name. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was because always there. I, I, I decided from 1980, I decided to promote it, to push that style as far, <coughs> excuse me, as, far as I could go. And without um, blowing my own trumpet, I feel that I have taken it beyond what Dali ever accomplished. Because wow. he, didn't, he didn't focus on that visual point. Um, so actually, I discovered Dali in about 1977. And in 1980, I realized Leonardo da Vinci, who is one of my big heroes, uh -huh. actually suggested it as an idea of how to enhance your, your creativity. So I picked up the Mona Lisa. Okay. I said, what? There must be something special in that painting that makes it so famous besides what art historians know. I started looking at the Mona Lisa and I discovered a plethora of hidden images that I haven't heard any art historian talk about. Okay. Apparently, they haven't seen it. If, for example, if one looks at the, the, the Mona Lisa and you follow the outline of her neck and chest, you see this, the outline of a kitten. Of a what? Kitten. Okay. That's mm -hmm. interesting. If you look at, there's a li li little um, river meandering in the landscape, meandering over her left shoulder, and it looks like the head of a dog. I looked at the, the shadow beneath her nose and it looked like a gondola. Because that that was the, the my the thing I had been doing. You can turn on that one because these people are getting in their noise. Okay. Um I've been doing that since since childhood and then when David I read that da Vinci's suggestion, the artist can look at a stain on the wall and see whatever he wants to see. You can see whatever you want. Oh yes. Okay. And, since then, I've done about eight different versions of the Mona Lisa. Okay. So in a, the last one I did, I transformed it into a landscape. Okay. So you you said you said this 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 came to you as a child when your mom was teaching you mm -hmm. uh, and your brother, mm -hmm. and um, you kind of just developed a love for that and decided at some point that that's how you're gonna. Um, focus your art uh, yeah. um, in the future. In, uh, one, uh, as I said, one of the major things that really pushed me further into this, I always wanted to play with words like Sparrow, play with words. So I realized it's the same thing. He was doing it with words. 
and Dali was doing it with imagery. Mm -hmm. And so I decided that's what I want to do. I want to push that art being my, my forte. I wanted to focus on that style. Oh, okay. And okay. develop it as far as I could. All right. That sounds exciting. And it has been an exciting almost 50 years, or you wouldn't still be doing it. Actually, I've been painting in that particular style. I, I From 72 to 80, I was just doing um, landscapes, portraits, and things like that. But uh -huh. from 1980, I started focusing on visual point. Okay, now. good. So in, in, in these almost 50 years, 49 years to be exact, mm -hmm. how many pieces have you done? Have you counted um, pieces? How I many would... pieces are you in position of? I should say, <laughs> probably. That's Conservatively, easier. at least 500. You have at least 500 pieces? Mm -hmm. Conservatively, yes. Conservatively, because yes. there are some which which you 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 you. I have from. been in this house that even has never seen. Oh my God! <laughs> you have a whole gallery there. I have paintings in this house that I haven't seen in uh, in more than a decade. Oh, they, Jesus. They hit there. Yeah. And oh, some of them are large. The largest one is nine feet by sixteen feet. I see. In, oh, 90, in that's 90. a lot. When um. President Reagan declared that Dr. King's birthday was going to be a national holiday. I said I had to do something to honor Dr. King. And I, my brother and I, we stretched this huge canvas, nine feet high and 16 feet wide. I had no idea what I was going to do with it after I did it, but I did it in two months and two days. Okay. In okay. fact, you can, that piece you can see on my Facebook page. Oh, wow. And, uh, and, and as you mentioned Facebook, can you just tell us what's the name of your Facebook page for people who yeah, might be? Well, I have, I have three, uh, three Facebook pages. One is called the Museum of Anthrop Anthropomorphic Alternative Reality. Mm -hmm. And the other one is, um, oh gosh, I'm sorry. <laughs> but the, I have the main one is just my name, David G. Bill. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. All right, so, so you send David, um, basically you were born in the Commonwealth of, of Dominica. Dominica, not the Dominican Republic. DR. So you just want to make sure that everyone knows that it's not DR that you're from. You're from the common. Sometimes when I get fed up of telling people, I, I just switch to Spanish because I thought I've been speaking Spanish since 1976. Oh, okay. Okay. Wonderful. French, French and Spanish. Okay. And you left Dominica and came straight here to, to, to the United States? Yes, yeah, 1976. Okay. Did you come here to study or you just might? To migrate? study. To study. To study. Hmm. Okay, and at that time you came here to study art. No, I, I well, I I chose not to study art because my father, when uh, when I was ten years old, my father asked me, "What do you do you like to be?" I said, "I want to be an artist." Oh my God, who told me to say that? Artists die poor. <laughs> <laughs> I never let him see any of my drawings. Oh. I I started painting um, in 1972. My parents had just um, separated. And when I, when I moved with my mom, I started painting then. But I never let him see any of my drawings. If I had a class project, he would be involved. But um, after that, he didn't want to see any drawing or, or drawing. Okay. So I, started, I started painting when after the, my parents separated. I was at my mom's home, so he wouldn't see it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so, so you came here and you went to which school? Which school did you come? I here? started my. I did my freshman year at Manhattan College in, in Riverdale, okay. the Bronx. Mm -hmm. and then I transferred to York College. I, okay. I completed my degree in economics, and for well, I minored in foreign languages because I had had the experience of teaching French and Spanish. I studied French, teaching French in Guadeloupe, the oh. island to the north of Dominica. Okay. Okay. And, and so let me ask you this, while you were in college, mm -hmm. um, did art ever take over the scene at, no. that, mm -hmm. at that point? Well, I was busy working, working, trying to pay, pay tuition. <laughs> in fact, that's why I left Manhattan College, which I regretted I should have stayed at Manhattan College. But I, I, I finished my degree in four years and I met this young lady. And okay. The rest okay. is history. <laughs> What, 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 um, <laughs> she was the high point of your college life. <laughs> well, um, I would go into the details of that, but 
Uh, she 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 was one of my students. Okay, so <laughs> she, she she was the other degree that you gained. <laughs> I was I was actually tutoring Spanish at your college. Uh huh. And she came into my class, and the rest is history. <laughs> okay. That's that's wonderful. So um, so you met Yvonne during college, and you got yeah. you got married after. No, we were we were. In our last semester of college, when we got married. Oh, wonderful! Uh, and you've been. We got, to we got married March first, nineteen eighty, and we graduated June twelfth. Both we both of us graduated the same day. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Um, okay, so so and and you guys have made a, a great team. The two of huh? you. I don't see, ever see you doing anything. And Yvonne is not in the background <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> Even if she's not on camera, she's right there beside you. What do you want, yes? Yeah, I can't, I can't, I, I can't complain. She complains, but I, I can't complain. And that's why I have, had, I, have, I, have, I had a great ride. Right, right. <laughs> and you also incorporate um stuff uh, about your wife in your paintings, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> is 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 it all in every piece that you? Um, let's see. Uh, when you see a still life, <clears throat> let me see. Body person. The, the sometimes I, I, I juxtapose fruits and vegetables and create a, a new oh. and the inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> well, you always have that why somewhere. Uh, yeah, the, the why. Oh, yes. If you see a vase, you'll always love it. Do you know I was doing that for three years before she recognized it? Oh. <laughs> One day she was coming down. With, I, I've been in the basement and uh, she was coming down with a load of laundry. And as she came down the stairs, she said, oh, that's where you've been putting me. <laughs> oh, yes, here's what. <clears throat> this is a, a, a one. It's a vase of flowers. Uh-huh. I, I call this anthropomorphic um, bouquet. OK. And you will see the vase, the, 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 the Y right there. Y right there, yeah. And for three years I was doing this, and she, she never she, she was looking at the painting, but never realized it until that one day she came down the, in the, into the basement with a load of laundry. As she was passing my easel, she said, "Oh, that's where you've been putting me." <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's very interesting. Okay, so um, you are going to show two pieces of your work at. At the tea party that that is upcoming, and we're very excited about um, about seeing the work, hearing more about them. We don't want to give away the secret, mm -hmm. but um, we have been showing these on Facebook and all social media. Um, the name of the two pieces are um, Trench Tone Tremor. Mm -hmm. I have one right behind you there, right? That, yeah, this is a, a print of it. Right. And mm -hmm. the other one is the Madonna of the Nappy Head Christ. Yes. And so on the day of the party, you're going to be showing us just, um, or probably making it interesting for us to guess what mm -hmm. are really in, inside of these art and what they represent. What are the hidden objects in them? The so interesting thing is that I... The, especially trench drum tremor. Uh -huh. It took me 13 years. I painted that. I, I, I did. I did that painting in 1992, and not until 2005, somebody showed me something that was hidden in there that I hadn't intended, but it fit right into the the, the story. Right. So and I remember we were looking for that, that 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 object. <laughs> uh, I, when he when he came with the the. the with the photograph, I had asked him to, uh, we are members of an art club. He says, I like the, the lion you have in that. I said, I have no lion in there. He said, yes, you do. <laughs> and then he proceeded to show it to me. I, yeah, very interesting. <laughs> you remember how difficult it was for you to find it? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah. And, and, and that was difficult because the picture I was looking at constantly was cropped. Yeah, okay. And yeah, so we will show people where those are. I'm almost getting a hint of, um, and you probably can look more at this, the, the, the crown of that picture. Mm -hmm. If you look at um, 
Bob Marley's Uprising album, mm -hmm. you probably could see almost a vague thing about In the fact, I see that, that's, the, that's, the, the, that's, the, that's, the, that's the album from which I, I, I use that, the image. Yeah, that Uprising album. Yeah. I look at that image and I began to see um, yeah. the, the figures in there. Right, right, uh -huh. right. So you can probably study that, 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 those two things and see. There's, oh, there's, yeah. there's a lot of stuff that the people don't do. I, I, I will, I went, on that night, I will explain who the people are. Because right. they're looking at their back, but they are particular people in his life. Okay. Mm. All right. That's wonderful. So we, we're really excited about this. And we're going to be having that special art conversation with David mm -hmm. um, G. Wilson. Mm -hmm. And he, he is my guest here today. He'll be at the tea party. He'll be explaining these two pieces of art, masterful pieces of art. And you can ask your question because you'll be on Zoom and you'll be um, joining us live. So you can ask questions and he will answer. Um, David, you, you sell um copies of your work mm -hmm. and you have the um the trench tone tremor available yes. for sale right I have it available for sale. and yeah. i can have it i can have it um print okay so or you can have it print orders print. right you'll be taking orders for um for these piece, pieces or or at least the, the that particular piece the, um the napier crisis i i do i haven't had uh it in print i don't have it in print yet Mm -hmm. Okay, and if you have, but to I have others. I have others. Um, okay, one that you I call Aphrodite on a Picasso plate. All right. So if people want your work, they can speak to you to find out what you have available in print yeah. that they could get at yeah. a lower price. And mm -hmm. if they, if you, if you have to do uh, a, a copy that you mm -hmm. have to whatever, that's more expensive than the print. Yeah, I can also get. Um, you can also have it on canvas made in G clay, which, okay. is, which is um a lot more more um impressive. Yeah. Uh, but I always I always encourage people to get an original. Okay, all right. Because okay. um it's it's more valuable and it has appreciative value. Ah, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. So wonderful. So everybody, you could get your you could order your stuff from David. He will give out his contact number. Can you give it now, David? And, and before we finish, you give it again. Okay. Um, my, he can my, contact you. My landline is 718-276-0364. And my cell 91. Go ahead. My cell 917-846-0322. You can Seven. also contact me by um by email. Um, give us the cell again, David, 917-846-0322. That's his cell phone. 917-846-0322 is how we can contact David if we... You can also contact me by email, davivon uh -huh. at gmail.com. D-A-V-I-V-O-N at gmail.com. Okay, wonderful. Yvonne at Gmail. No, D A V Dav David. Dav Yvonne. Yes, D A V Y V O N. Y V Y V O N. And we always link the two. We always link the two names. I see that. Dav <laughs> Dav Yvonne. Y V O N. Yes. At Gmail. At All Gmail. Right. All right. So let's let's um let's look. Um, at at a, a few pieces of your work that I see in the background there behind you. Mm -hmm. um, I asked um, earlier if you do portraits. Yes, I am. I can do portraits, but it's not one of my portraits. Okay, mm -hmm. so you're not you're not looking for work for portraits, really. Uh, yes, I will accept for, well, but uh, um, the image that the, I, the image has to be very clear. Okay, because the clearer the, the better. I have done a portrait from tiny photographs, but it's hit, a more or less hit on me. Okay. But if you are presented with a very good high resolution um, photograph, I can do a better job. Okay, mm -hmm. wonderful. And um, you have a self portrait behind you of, um, with you and Yvonne? Yes, that was only 1982. 
we oh. were very young at that time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there, there's, a, there's something symbolic here. Look between the heads. Um, You'll see a dictionary. If you look between the heads, you will see a, oh, you will see a dictionary. Mm -hmm. Okay, here I have some art books that I, I was collecting from um, on the second shelf from Time Magazine. In fact, that is, is one of them I read that thing or that, that suggestion by Da Vinci. But up here, uh, our college textbook, which we still have from 1980. Mm -hmm. We still have them. We don't throw out anything. <laughs> and between the two heads, there's a Spanish dictionary. Uh, you should know now why the Spanish dictionary is there. Well, the Spanish. I just, I just told you why why the Spanish dictionary is there. Oh, oh, because of your mom and how you started the. Uh, uh, uh Remember, I told you she walked into my Spanish class. I was tutoring. Oh, uh, you the Spanish, Spanish class. Okay. College. I was tutoring Spanish at your college. Okay. okay. That's why. That's why the spider web. <laughs> that's where the spider web caught the fly. <laughs> I like how you put the significant things inside of the world. Yeah. It's so exciting. Um, so so that was the connector. Yes, the Spanish. That I also thought her French. Uh, All right. I, I also did have her French, yes. All right, so nice. Okay, so so wonderful. So so the one that's above that, that yeah. one that you just showed us. Yeah, that's that? Malcolm. That's Malcolm. Yeah. It's two Muslims in front of a mosque brandishing sickle and scimitar. The sickle represents his belief in self-help. And the scimitar represents his belief in self-defense. Many people say that Malcolm X was violent, but he, Malcolm says if a man puts his hand on you, don't let him put his hand on somebody else. Don't, 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 don't turn the other cheek. Okay. Uh -huh. And that was his foresight, so I used them as his glasses. And the, the, the two Muslims in front of a mosque, bandaging sickle and Okay, I and still don't see all of those. I have to, I have to um, study that picture to see. Yeah. <laughs> to it's see on the website. It's on my website. Yes, I have oh, to. My, my main website is davidgwilson.com. Okay, wonderful. Mm, DavidGWilson.com. Mm. I have to study that one to see all of those things. That yeah, you can get, you can get a very good image. I also have another a website um, with Fine Art America. Okay, I have about twenty websites. <laughs> <laughs> I I can imagine. Uh, okay, so also behind you there is um, the Trenchtown Tremor, Trenchtown Tremor, which yeah. we are not going to go into. And yeah, we'll leave, we'll leave that for, for the day of the party. That's this. That's 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 the um the mystery piece. Yeah. And above that, um, yeah. Tell us about that one, David. That's a commissioned piece. <laughs> uh, I saw I saw a, a, a photograph yesterday. Was it yesterday or night before? And the hairdo really blew me away. We're not seeing the full picture uh, on here. Uh, can we Oh, I think the hairdo really blew me away. Okay. And so I copied the, the I copied the image from the internet, and I did this portrait. Uh, <laughs> within I uh, see, it took me about five hours. That's very interesting. <laughs> very very cute. That's very nice. <laughs> And you yeah. did this yesterday. How long? Yesterday. And just five hours to paint. When, when, when did you post it on, on there? Yesterday. Okay, that's when I picked it up, and I I, I finished it last yeah, last night, and Amazing. I had it printed this morning. Amazing. So that that's that's a people. That's that's a that's a that's a um that's a painting of Ivadne. Ivadne. <laughs> that's beautiful, David. Um. You know what I, I thought um, you might have done um, to that image is, is to change the airing into something, one of your, your stuff that you always do. Oh, 
you know, to hide something in there. But it's beautiful just as it is anyway. Well, yeah, that, that was the earring in it. Now, yeah. there was a glass here uh, in front of you, and I was contemplating putting um, the one that, the glass that uh, of wine that turns into Christ on the cross. But oh. I, I said, I don't know how you, I don't know how religious you are. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, although I do religious images, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not religious. I, 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 um, I just love my champagne. That's all I, yeah. I know. <laughs> Yeah. But that's 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 really nicely done, David. Yeah. You capture that so nicely. Very nice pose, if if I may say so myself. And um, the hairstyle was is was really yeah. The, the hairstyle uh, it was it was it really blew me away. Yeah, I like natural hairstyles. <laughs> <laughs> the African queen, right there. Yeah, yeah. We love it, David. I'm very nice, and and the pose was very nice, very fitting for the, mm -hmm. the um the hairdo too. All right, so as we said before, um, you will be one of our special guests at our upcoming tea party on Sunday. And we'll go through those two wonderful pieces that you have done before. Mm -hmm. and, um, and, and so people can ask you questions and we can have fun finding the different- uh, On Sunday evening, I'll tell you the story about the painting being exhibited at the museum. Okay. We almost Thank missed. You. We almost missed that opportunity. Okay. Uh, and you you said the um the the Madonna of the Nappy Head Christ was mm -hmm. on display at the Museum of the Bible for how long? For, for a year. A year. That's From what November of two thousand seventeen to November of two thousand eighteen. Okay. Wonderful. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, what do you mean by that company? Uh, it's a uh, one of his. It's an art art store uh -huh. in in down south. Um, I'm telling you, they're one of these evangelical Christians. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, Hobby Lobby. The owners of Hobby Lobby, they 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 purchased this huge building in Washington D.C. Uh -huh. and they funded um, it's four hundred fifty thousand square feet. A okay. Story building. Mm -hmm. Um, they, they purchased and and turned it into a, a museum of the Bible. Okay. They, they saw my work online and asked me to borrow it for a year. Okay, it's wonderful. That's nice. That's a great opportunity. The, the story gets more complicated than that. I, I, I laugh at it all the time. That we almost <laughs> missed that opportunity too. Ah, uh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, David, again, let's let's repeat those numbers, those contacts for the persons who join. Mm -hmm. If you just joined this video um, late, um, you could leave your comment for us under the video, but we're speaking with um, um, artist David G. Um, David, oh my God. David G. Wilson. David G. Wilson. Mm -hmm. Some days my head just goes. And the easiest way to the easiest way to find me on the internet is just Google David G. Wilson. Right. And yeah. and, and um, David can be contacted at 917-846-0322. That's 917-846-0322. And David, you live in Queens, New York. Yeah. But you do admit persons. To come and look at your your work, if they, mm -hmm. they contact you and make um, the arrangements for you to do that, or if they're interested to buy, mm -hmm. you will allow them a guided tour of um, to see some of your work because there's no way they're gonna see 500. <laughs> oh, well, I'm, I'm working on a series of about hopefully by next year I will have completed another 300 pieces. Right, and these I will make original pieces. Um, I'll make affordable for, for people who are, and, I, and that, that's the last time you'll ever get it that, that deep. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm um, we are raising funds to try to rebuild it, uh, expand on the house, because we want to create a, a museum right here. All right, that's good. Convert our yeah. home into a museum. So we're trying to raise funds to expand the house so okay. that we create a museum here. A, a real, real big yeah. show that people can come in, come in yeah. groups and so on. That's yeah. that's a great plan. 
All right, David, thank you so much. Thank you for being here with us, for sharing. And um, Yvonne in the background, thank you for being a part of this, although you're not showing your face. Very somebody, 43 years of support. All right. Hopefully, exactly. Yvonne will be in the picture on Sunday. Yeah, wherever, so we'll wherever there's a museum, we just get in the car and drive. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, David. Thank All you right. so much for allowing us to see your work. Thank you for being a great sport. And we will catch up with you on Sunday at the tea party. Okay. Thank you for having me. You're yeah. most welcome. Thank you. And I love my portrait. Okay, then. Bye. Uh, you so should take a picture of it on Facebook so I could share it. I will do that. I will do that. In fact, I wanted to do it just at the time that we were signing on. <laughs> So okay. that you, you'll be surprised when you saw it. Uh, but I'll do that right now. Okay, do that. Yeah. And um, so we could share it with the, the originals for people to see. All right. Uh, yes. How nice yes. it came out. And okay. how fast. Right, okay. yes. Thank you, David. Right, yes. Have a blessed yeah. evening, you and Yvonne. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye, great.